I don't. this for you guys. Hope she's okay. She's only been riding for a week. And uh Oh I you know what? I think this is where we were last time. I'm gonna have to ride these roads more often. slowing down. but there was a guy walking across the street and then it was all casually and then he finally when he finally saw me he was like oh shit and he ran he was laughing oh, I think she's waiting for me nope no nope. maybe not four three two and one I guess I have to take it in for the service. Okay, so we were 10 8 miles. But I don't know if it's gonna be free or not. Like, I don't have much money to begin with. And if it's gonna be really expensive to have maintenance on it, I don't know what I'm gonna do, because I only have like a part-time part -time job right now that's not really paying much. I haven't even seen my first paycheck yet. So... Yeah, so these were the roads where my first group ride was. Um, but I didn't... Well, I filmed it. But, um, I didn't show it because they, well, the video didn't turn out very well. It's my first video ever. There's a lot of wind. It's moving me around. My Eugene trip, coming back, was hard because it was so windy. just fighting the bike in order to keep it stable and it made me even more paranoid when there were trucks because the big gusts of wind would come up when they went by or I passed them Okay, 
so I caught up with her. Um, she's the same girl that I took the motorcycle course with. Team Oregon motorcycle course. And I always, she's always been riding a scooter. Oh no, now her license plate is coming off. I gotta tell her this. I wish we had microphones or something to talk to each other. Oh man, <laughs> her bike's just falling apart. Uh, her starter button also like went missing. Um, after I we decided we wanted to go on a group ride. She's like, I can't go right now because I have to take it to my mechanic to get it fixed. I was like, oh, what's wrong? She's like, start a button gone. She doesn't know if if it just fell off or if someone stole it. Because I think she went to work and then when she came back it wasn't gone. So... I mean, it was on when she took it there. I don't know what happened to it though. But yeah, now our license plate is sideways. I hope it doesn't fall off. I hope I didn't like start a story and then stop it. I have a feeling I did and I, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I said the, my bike drop, oh, well, I could tell you the rest of the bike dropping story. Um, so, because I was so tired, I tried lifting it, or, yeah, well, I tried lifting it, and because I was so tired, I couldn't lift it. Tried multiple times, paused, took off my gear, my backpack, tried again, still couldn't do it. All this while, the cars with their headlights are going by. And now I was just thinking to myself, I hope someone pulls over so they can get out and help me. But in my back of my mind, I was like, nobody's going to want to do that. You know? And if they do, I mean, thank God for them, because nobody likes to... I mean, when you see an accident, people tend to just look at it, and they don't know what to do. And although my bike dropping, dropping my bike was not an accident, people still don't know what to do. Does she need help? Does she want help? You know, so that way I just, I, I started looking at the cars and then finally, actually it was with a span of uh, probably like 20 seconds, a guy pulled over. Um, his daughter yelled out the window, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, but I can't get my bike up. And so then she, I guess, tells her father about what's happening, and he gets out, goes around to help me, and he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I just need to help me get my bike up. And so then he uh, helped me lift it up. And after he gets me up, and I've already wrote, written this in my blog, so whoever, uh, whoever has read it, you'll know, but, um, and he's like, well, this is a really big bike, is it yours? And I'm just like... Your license plate's- your license plate's about to fall off! Yeah! 